Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up your iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it doesn't really matter which color you guys have, how many gigs, it's all the same for all of them. So that's this one right here, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Anyways, let's just get started with your power button right here. Let's just hold that power button and we're gonna power this up. If you guys haven't inserted your SIM card, that's gonna go right here. And you guys have a pin in order to open this up. I do have a separate video about that, but it's just inserting the pin, this tray will come out, put in your SIM card, and you're done. Most of you have that already in there. Anyways, by the way, I have this because I haven't bought my screen protector yet. So this will stay on until I get my screen protector. And then and only then I will take that off. <laughs> Anyways, right now we're gonna see hello, swipe up. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna select our language. So let's go ahead with English. You guys can select any other language. At this point, we're gonna select our country. So we can select the US or any other country for that matter right here. I'm just gonna select Canada for now. And quick start. Quick start's pretty neat and not neat at the same time. If you guys have an other iPhone or maybe an iPad for that matter, you guys can place it right beside this. Just turn on Bluetooth and that way it's gonna transfer on some information, very basic information that we don't really need that much. It's not that much faster this quick start. So let's just set up manually and we're gonna set up our Wi-Fi. Once you put in your passcode, your password, it's gonna take you to the next step. So you're supposed to have a check mark right there. Just go into next and then it's gonna tell you to take a few minutes. It's not gonna be that long, okay? The whole process of the setup, it really depends what type of setup you guys are doing. If you're transferring everything from iCloud, from your other phone, it might take longer because you have to transfer and re-download everything. If this is your brand new phone for the very first time, it's gonna be really quick. And if you guys have to create an Apple ID for that matter, it might take a little bit longer just because you have to put in a little bit more information. Anyways, right now, data, privacy, we have to continue on right there. Face ID, that's the easiest part about setting up an iPhone because all you guys have to do is move your head up and down and side to side. So I'll show you that right now. Let's just continue on. And from here, get started. Continue on. So right now it just scanned your entire face, okay? So it needs to know all the angles of your face in order to get that perfection with face ID. Once we're done with that, let's just continue on. Right here, your passcode. There's other options, I just want to show you that. So if you click right here, you will see these options right here. So just in case you're not stuck just with this. But I'm just gonna set something up. Don't do something this easy, I'm gonna use anyways. So again, I don't suggest something this easy, unless you don't care about your passcode, which in case later on in settings, we can actually get rid of your passcode so you guys can just access your phone freely. Right now, this is the most important part from this whole process, okay, from the setup. Right now, if you guys have another iPhone, restore from iCloud Backup, this is the most important thing. Just put in your Apple ID right here, so I'm just gonna click right there just to show you. You put in your Apple ID, it's gonna transfer everything to your phone, except for passwords. Some passwords for emails, you will have to re-enter them. So that's the option you will have to put, and it's gonna transfer your contacts, pictures, everything really. Right now, you guys could do this from a Mac or PC as well, that's your second option. You guys can transfer directly from iPhone. That's another option. And then we have don't transfer apps and data. I'm kind of skipping transfer from Android because doesn't work that well. <laughs> I actually even prefer to set up fresh if you're coming from Android, just because it, I don't think it just, just doesn't work that well. Anyways, right now I'm just gonna put something like don't transfer apps and data, just because I'm assuming you guys are brand new into iPhone. If you guys are not, and you guys had an iCloud ID from your iPad or something like that, you could put it in right now here, okay? If you guys never had a device before, just select the second option. And right here we can create an Apple ID which you need to download every single app and just keep everything backed up. I highly, highly suggest creating Apple ID. If you don't already have one, you just have to fill up this information. I'm just gonna go back, okay? Oh, and one last option. So if you click on here, we can always set this up in settings. However, it does tell you right here exactly what you're missing out if you don't set it up already. But if you do want to do a fast setup right now and just get over it done with, you guys could set up later in settings just by hitting that option. We can just use, not, not use right now. And all we're skipping is you guys saying, yes, this is my iCloud and transferring your data or just creating that Apple ID and just being ready for that. Of course, we're gonna set that up later anyways. So let's just go into agree. 
right now, keep it off from today. Well, this is a tough one. I usually just go and say, yeah, continue on, why not? But updates are never 100% glitch free. So I do suggest actually going into install updates manually. And that's because you guys want to choose which updates are actually installed on your phone and which ones you may not want to, or maybe which ones you want to skip out on because sometimes there's glitches. So it's better to have that control yourselves. Anyways, right now we're just gonna continue on, enable. If you guys don't want to enable, then you won't have GPS, so I don't really suggest that. Siri, Siri is really cool. Kind of works like if you guys had Google Home, so you guys can say, hey Google. Same deal with, hey Siri. You guys can say, hey Siri, without even touching ever your phone, and it's gonna respond to you. So right now in the background, I had another iPhone which responded to me, so I'm just gonna turn this one off for now. So it's not gonna get in my way. So I'm gonna shut that one down. There we go. And then we're just gonna continue on to set this up. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And we are all set. So again, if Siri's not working for some reason, it's not responding to you, you can always just tap on this button and that's your Siri button, okay? Let's just continue on. Screen time. This is something that I suggest if you have kids. So if this is a phone for one of your kids, then yes, set it up. So you guys can have some parental controls right here. So you guys can see some restrictions into what apps they can download, how much time they can spend on games and stuff like that. However, for most of you, uh, you guys don't really care how much time you spend on your screen. So that way it's kind of useless for adults to set this up. So I'm just going to put set up later. And this is up to you guys. You guys want to share with Apple or not. I just say, go ahead and share it. This is kind of cool because if you guys can see the difference. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, continue. Light mode or dark mode? Well. I'm a dark mode type of guy, so I do like this dark appearance. However, for this setup, we're just gonna go with light. It's gonna be the same thing. It just makes the background dark, but for a video, it's not that great. <laughs> so we're just gonna continue on. And we have display. So standard, it's not that small really. Zoomed in, I find it's really, really big. So for me, standard's good to go. From zoomed, by the way, if you guys need it even bigger than what that zoomed is, you guys can mess around with that and make it really, really big if that makes it easier for you. So we're going to continue on. So right now it's going to give you a quick tutorial of how you guys are supposed to do things right here. So just continue. Um, so I highly suggest watching this, watching this, quick access. Right now we're pretty much done with your phone, so we're going to swipe up. And I'm going to show you some quick things. So let's say you guys open up this app, minimize it, open that up, minimize it, open this app minimize it, open this app, minimize it. That's all you guys have to do to minimize any app. And yes, I said minimize because they're not fully closed. To fully close an app, all you guys have to do is swipe up and you guys will see these apps coming up, which we just opened right now. And all we have to do is swipe up on each one of them and they're actually fully closed right now before they were just minimized. So that's really good to know. Other than that, this right here, you should know that, so you guys can turn up your brightness, your volume, and all that jazz. Calculator, pretty useful sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, apart from that, you guys should know if you swipe this way, you will see this, plus your search, so you guys can search anything really. Let's just go back on that. And if you swipe up, I already showed you what happens there. But if you swipe from the middle down, there's other options you guys will get, such as notifications right here, your flashlight, camera. So there's that quick access Anyways, that would be it for my setup video. That's it. But there is a manual video that I did for this, which shows you a lot more in depth into your phone and more tricks and tips about setting up your phone. Anyways, that's it for this setup video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.